Hello, everybody. What's going on? Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Player's Choice Auction. I can't believe it's been a full week again. <laughs> it, uh, time seems to go by super fast here. We never have much time for anything. We're actually trying to grab a bite to eat while we're starting this. So we'll see how it's going. I see Jess Ball's on and happy. How are you guys? How was your week? Any big sporting news this week? I don't know. It seemed pretty quiet. Uh, Tim Hortons launched on, when was that, yesterday, Thursday? Uh, Mike Sheerla, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, there you go, wherever you are all over the world. Happy's excited for his Timmy's cards. Uh, we're going to see, uh, we're going to see a few Timmy's cards tonight. We've got, uh, I opened up a couple boxes, uh, 200 packs, uh, so I got a little bit of stuff. I don't know if you guys are working on the set or not, or what you guys are feeling on it but i thought we'd try some canvases and inserts we've got some of the trios which seem super hard to get i only got eight of those out of two boxes hey tony how you doing um will says nothing in uh in sports today maybe the masters yeah you know what i was gonna get some golf ready for you guys i actually do have some golf does anybody like david duvall here if anybody likes David Duvall, maybe I've I'll, I've got a really neat uh, card that I might put out if there's even a couple fans for sure. Nothing super big, happy. No no jerseys or, or autos or anything. One box I picked up for a customer. Uh, he hit the Ovechkin jersey card, so that's my luck of the draw. Being a nice guy and giving him my box. Tony Chu is like who? David Duvall, have you guys not heard of David Duvall? Maybe not. I'll just show you guys it then. We won't. We don't have to auction it, but I just thought it was a cool card. It's like they had like uh, driver faces, like they cut up drivers and put pieces of the plastic or whatever to make it look like a driver driver face. So some of the cards, I'm imagining they're gonna use some of that uh, that stuff uh, when they do artifacts. I'm guessing. Um, I thought you might be pulling my leg, Tony, but I wasn't sure. You never know with people nowadays. <laughs> Mike got one trio and four clear cuts in 40 packs. That's not too bad. Uh, Bruce says, Timmy's was underwhelming. What were you expecting, Timmy? Or Timmy. What were you expecting, Bruce? Like, it's only a two bucks a pack product, so it can't be crazy, crazy. Some of the stuff's pretty nice. I like the 3D ones. I don't know if you've seen them in person or not. I don't know. It's tough to tell what the the how cool those are. Like that's a nice looking card from a two dollar pack, don't you think? I don't know. I was, I've got some of those set to come out. The, these phenoms are really nice too. Hey, Larry and Barb, how you doing? Um, the clear cuts are pretty nice. Like they're they're a nice looking card. I really like the dark blue on them this year. So those are nice looking cards for sure. Scott wants to know any cup for sale. Ah, uh, like packs or boxes scott or do you mean singles or or what do you mean uh, verify that cut that down a little bit for us um patrick's safe in his luck for series one next week yeah it might be a it might be a short window um might be a short window this year for timmy's uh with um with series one being so close to behind behind it we'll see what see what happens they made the the base set pretty big this year and uh, it might be a short window for it. We'll see. I don't don't know how long it'll last in the stores. But if you guys got your Series 1 pre-orders and stuff ready, you can pick up on Wednesday. Um, we'll have it in store, Series 1. If you don't have pre-orders, well, you can stand in line with the rest of them. Uh, Scott, no, uh, no tins on hand here, Scott. But uh, check out our website or let us know what year you're looking for. We carry lots of the different years of cup there. So... So I don't have any you don't have any website. up on the website? Okay, yeah, just message us on Facebook, Scott, of what year you're looking for, and I'll get you some prices on what what years of uh, cup. Just just let us know what tins you're looking for, what years, and we'll go from there. Um, this year's been bumped back a little bit, right? Yeah, cup this year, uh, 1920 cup is, I don't want to say what the date I'm being told, but it's it's late. Uh, after Christmas for sure, and then 2021 Cup. Who knows? Like, so I'm just happy they're getting Series One out for sure. Um, Bruce says that uh, clear cuts were great. I pulled no Crosby. 
no Crosby. You're looking for the Crosby Auto, Bruce. Is that the way you were hoping, or any Crosby cards in general? Um, he got all across Canada and land in his city. You never know. That Crosby Auto is out of 87. We've owned, oh, I think, two or three years we've owned a Crosby autograph that we've had uh, pulled out of there. If anybody's a really big Tim Hortons fan, um, maybe I'll post pictures. We've got the binder from a few years ago. It's the full set with the, like, the part of the shaft, um, part of the shaft of the Crosby stick, and it's got a bunch of autograph pictures and everything in it. It's like a... It was one of the prizes that you could enter the contest and see. So, yeah, it sucks, Scott. There's nothing they can do about it. Uh, a lot of the players were in the bubble and stuff and not signing. So it's really, really hard to, to make that work. Um, but hopefully they'll they'll get on it. I know, I don't know if Billy's on here or not. He's uh, That's his product. So I know he's definitely happy to get uh, it out the door when he can. I don't know what I got for Crosby's in that stuff there, Bruce. I didn't really look. Like I guess to be honest, I ripped the the two. Oh, there's a Crosby in front of you, I guess. Those cup winners. We're gonna while we're talking and shooting the crap, you guys are the breeze. You guys know start the auction at a buck, everything goes up by a buck. We start it by a dollar and just let it roll. If anybody's interested in the pairing of Malkin and McDavid for a dollar, looking for one dollar to start. To get his first Crosby. Hey Thomas, how you doing, buddy? Are you, uh, I think I saw your name on a pre-order list for Series 1. Is Tom on that list? Oh, unless your wife's listening, then absolutely not. It's a different Thomas. It's a different Thomas. <laughs> it's a different Thomas. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty excited for Series 1. You guys, uh, I don't see cards that I don't, that I don't know what they are too often. But I had to look up this card. I found this card in a junk box the other day. Look at this. It's a 2001-2002 Patrick Waugh, but if you look, it's actually numbered out of six. Two of six. So it's sitting in one of my junk boxes. God knows how long I've had it. Uh, challenge for the cup. I looked up. There's only six in the checklist, so six in the set. Um, there was like a, a Gretzky and a Bobby Hall, uh, but kind of a cool cool card for sure. I don't know, uh, don't know where it came from or why I've never come across them before, but I guess if there's only six with six made, it's 36 cards across the whole production run, but it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool card. But not often do I come across cards that I haven't seen. Andrea starts us off at a buck on the pairing, and we're off and running. Thanks, Andrea. Buck and running on the pair of cup winners, Crosby and Melkin. Crosby and Melkin cup winning. This is out of brand new 2021 Timmy's. If I didn't tell you guys that, or if you're not paying attention, what's going on? The new Timmy's cards. Um, they're one of the inserts. I'll probably show you a few of the different inserts throughout the night if you guys are interested. If you're not, well, so be it then. <laughs> um, what uh, we'll be doing the same with Series 1. Uh, we're doing the break on Wednesday. I don't know if you guys got your spots. Don't know if you guys got your spots on the breaks. We're at once at $1. If you guys got your breaks, spots in the break, they are up on the website. I think, how many left in Series 1, Katie? Not too many. Not a ton. Not a ton, ton of spots left in the break of Series 1. It's the cheapest you guys are going to see it. We're only $45 a team. Um, so there you go. Uh, there's the link. Okay, there's the link right there. So if you want to go buy spots of Series 1, uh, Series 1 is up there now at $45 a team. We've got two cases filling. There you go. J.O.'s on the board. And if uh, we will be selling... Um, selling through those quickly and then if we do put more cases up it's going to be at, at a substantial price increase series one's already starting to go up like crazy so oops i gotta do katie i guess i could do that there where uh a couple of you guys were asking about the break on um on the 84 85 we are eight spots left in that eight spots left in the 80 45 nobody's interested in these Andrew's going to take these down for a dollar. Half the price of a pack. That's a pretty good deal. This is sold. Katie, you want to run these up for Andrea? Sold for a whopping dollar. Way to get on the board early. Well, let's try. We'll try a couple more Timmy's cards. And if nobody's interested, then we'll move on. Connor McDavid, Canvas, NHL Canvas. Bruce, Connor, Connor McDavid and Dry Saddle. It's funny. Those are, I mean, the packs are two bucks plus tax a pack. So. If you're going to be building the set or whatever, that's definitely a cheaper way to do that. 
We're looking for one dollar to start, one dollar to start on the pairing. I'm glad they brought Canvas to the Timmy's cards. Canvas is one of my favorite sets in uh, Series One and Series Two. Happy's at three dollars. Hey Heather, how you doing? I don't know what she put up there, but I could see she's got a square there, anyways. Happy at three. Jay at five. We just bought a spot into our Series One break. Thanks, Jay. Sad face. Is it a sad face? Or like a wolf. Or wolf face. Uh, five dollars for the pair. Five looking for ten. Five looking for ten on the pair. Of McDavid and Drysaddle. Uh, Jay's got five B, five bid. Same thing, buddy. Where either one works. Um, yeah, we're excited for Series 1. We're not going to see you guys until then, so keep that in mind. Series 1 break is going to be on Wednesday night instead of auctions. We'll be breaking. Hopefully those two cases will be full. I can't see why they won't be full. They're probably not going to be last-minute spots like there normally is. So um, if you don't get in and you, you don't get a spot, don't be complaining that we haven't told you 30 times. And then it'll be back to Friday well, again for auction. Left in one. Seven, 12 spots left in the first break. Okay. Again, they're only 45 bucks a spot, $45 for a team. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it's 12 box break. Your spot's going to cover you for one team. So if you hit the Rangers, you get all the Rangers cards out of the case, minus the base cards, of course. If you hit Tampa Bay, you get all the Tampa cards. We're once to happy at $7, once to happy. I guess this is too early for you guys on Timmy's cards. Nobody's interested, so maybe we'll put these away till next week. We are once, we are twice. There's Jay at eight. Covering the cost of the packs, maybe, I guess. Eight bucks. Um, it looked good, Jason. I think uh, I was happy to see DiPietro D. on there. Uh, I can't remember the name of the Vegas rookie, but the Vegas rookie is supposed to be pretty good too. Maybe one of you guys will remind me his name on there. He's supposed to be, he's in there too. And of course, Lafour once you see 201 was Lafourniere. Once you've seen that on there, even though we had confirmed it a long time ago and been telling everybody, nobody seemed to. It's hilarious that that day when they released, um, when they released the, the official checklist, you should have seen how many people were trying to buy last minute spots in the case or cases and pre-orders. We had already closed it all off and now we're, how much are we on the boxes now? Uh, 120 a box. 120 a box is good. Yeah. 120 a box or 110 if you do a case. So if you were lucky enough to pre-order, you save 15 on the box and 10 bucks a box by, if you did by the case. So all you people that listened to us and to the pre-order, that was a smart move. And that stuff will be going up even more after release. We're at twice, twice at $8, twice at $8 on the Connor McDavid dry sidle canvas cards. Again, brand new out of last year's Timmy's. I'm scared to put up uh, a trios card. If you guys don't know the value on some of these Timmy's, but that's the way she runs. Okay. These are sold, sold for $8, sold for $8. We'll move on to something else. Is Erica on board? I had a Minnesota card for her here, but I didn't know if she's on board tonight or not. Rasmus Deline, rookie at a $5.99. Trilogy rookie at a $5.99. Deline, rookie card from Trilogy at a $5.99. Looking for $1, looking for $1. Um... Yeah, the, the canvases are neat for sure, Michael. I'll give you that. Jess Paul is looking for basketball. I, I've got uh, I've got football tonight. I've got some pretty nice football. I actually just broke three or four boxes tonight of football. So I do have um, some football to go up. I've got some wrestling, maybe some golf. I don't know. You guys didn't want to know who Duvall was, so I don't know about golf. But I don't think I've got basketball tonight there, uh, Jess Paul. I'm... Uh, just started the purchasing of a big uh, basketball collection today that I'm hopefully going to finish up tomorrow. And if I uh, if we can acquire that collection, there'll be some fun ones for you guys. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention to our hockey value boxes the last little while, uh, they've been selling really good. We'll be doing the basketball of those again. There's the ba there's the hockey ones there. Um, we will be doing basketball ones of those. Uh, for sure as well. And I think, uh, like what, Katie, first week of December, maybe yeah, first, to... first week of December, we're going to try to have the basketball value boxes out. Uh, especially if I could pull off this collection, I started looking at today, that'll be enough. Uh, there'll be actually quite a few PSA 10 hits yeah, and stuff like that. Friday. 
Yeah, it'll be after Black. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I'm talking about, Patrick. Yeah, Peyton Krebs. I've heard lots of good things about him. I don't I don't know much about him myself. I just know that he's definitely got people talking about it. So it's interesting. We're at one dollar. One dollar on the Darlene trilogy rookie card. One dollar. Um looking for five, looking for twenty five. Yeah, we're one dollar. <laughs> Um, Bruce is happy. Bruce is happy about football. Troy wants to see some golf. Troy, do you know who David Duvall is? These guys said they don't know who David Duvall is. I thought it was a super cool autograph card from uh, SP Game Use Golf. Um, yeah, that those value boxes are, are awesome. Just Paul, we loaded those things full of rookies and autos, and there'll be hits and stuff like that for sure. Um, we are going to be once then once at only a dollar on the Rasmus Deline rookie out of five ninety nine. <laughs> he says, Duh. "Hey Mac, two bucks, two bucks." Um, he was scheduled to be the top ten, but then he fell in the draft because he's tore his Achilles. Yeah, so there you go. Maybe that's people are excited about it. Bruce is at five. Michael's got a bunch of square squares, and then Duval. So I'm not sure. Thumbs up. Um, thumbs up. There you go. Maybe I'll run that for you guys just to show you. Uh, if you guys were lucky enough to pre-order artifacts, it's all sold out. It's all done. It's the golf artifacts in March is all wrapped up. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to have a single box for the store. Uh, we are seeing, we did all our pre-orders at 165 and I've actually seen it at 270 out in the market right now. So again, if you, you bought into artifacts golf and you listened to us that day, good on you. Uh, Andrea's at six bucks, six on the Darlene, six looking for 10, six looking for 10. Um, uh, did he win a U.S. Open? I don't know if he did. Somebody's got to have uh, Troy's <laughs> wants to know who Tiger is. Did you guys watch uh, the episode of Flex this week, the Tuesday episode? Did you see those two golf cards I had on there? If you guys like golf and you haven't, uh, you haven't watched this week's episode of the flex show it's on our youtube channel right now um i had that uh two amazing tiger woods cards were on there we're at once at six six dollars once at six dollars on this michael checked it out what do you think michael we this one was a shorter episode we had filmed a couple in the day and that's just where that one kind of ended up so uh i don't know uh, it's on there, Troy. It's on our YouTube. It's about, it's only a, this one week's only 12, 12 minutes, I think. Yeah. yeah. So it's only a 12 minute show this week. So if you got an extra 12 minutes kicking around, go watch it. Let you know what, uh, what you think. There's a couple cool golf cards on there for sure. At the end of the show. Minutes. Is that how long it is? 12 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully they have 12 minutes. Well, they might, <laughs> maybe they don't have 12 minutes. Maybe they're pretty busy. Um, wasn't this the week of the cut cards? Yep, yeah, you got her, Michael. It was the one with the all. The, I did all the cut autos in the beginning, and then there's two golf, um, two golf cards at the end there. Uh, Tiger Woods autographs. One's out of five, and one uh, was the Nike uh, uh, swoosh or swish. I can't remember what you're supposed to say. Swish, maybe. Swoosh. Um, we're once. We're twice. Even though Katie missed it there, I think I had twice on there. Everyone keeps texting me questions for work. Oh, there you go. Twice at $6. Okay, well, I'm just going to sell this and never put a Darlene rookie card up here again. Sold at $6 for a number Darlene out of 99. Andrea is... Oh, I don't know <laughs> what's going on. I... Uh, I don't even know what to put out to keep you guys happy then. If nobody's really, is nobody interested in cards tonight? Do we just want to talk? We can put this David Duvall up then. Ink, ink drivers from SB Game Use. SB Game Use ink drivers. This is from uh, 2012 SB Game Use Golf. 2012 SB Game Use Golf. It's a manufactured driver club face and then autograph on it. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it goes for more than a dollar. That shine is horrific off that, though. Oh, Let's oh, see. Way, I think. So do this. No, like, I think turn the card the other way. I don't know. Yeah, that's better. Is that better? Yeah, way better. Here, I'll take... Oh, yeah, that, oh, that works. Okay. It's a tough card to get with the plastic and stuff there. Andrea's happy with that. 
Happy starts at three bucks. Three dollars looking for five. Three looking for five on the David Duvall. Um, maybe so for Timmy's. If you guys aren't interested in Timmy's, I'll just keep all the inserts aside. You guys send us your lists, and then we can work on it from there. Happy's at five. Jason's or Jason's at five. Sorry, Mr. D's at eleven. Patrick's at ten. Bruce is at fifteen. Um, Mike says I'm learning a lot from the flex shows. Unfortunately, every time I learn something new, I forget something I used to know. Isn't that the way? Uh, Steve Knack is at ten. Jason's at fifteen. Patrick's at twenty. Twenty looking for twenty-five. Um, yeah, the interest. Oh, this next one, it's going to be good. He's going to do thirty years and thirty minutes. Well, that's I'm trying to I'm trying to get the uh, I'm trying to get the product, so don't promise anything yet. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying there. Uh, Nathan is at four dollars, and we're at twenty already. Nathan, twenty looking for twenty five. Twenty looking for twenty five on the David Duvall uh, glove piece. It our club piece. It'd be interesting to see what they do uh, coming up with. Uh, like some of the preview cards had pieces of sand and stuff like that um, in them. So it'd be. I know they did different. I don't know this one. It, does anybody know who Nancy? Lopez is Nancy Lopez glove car or club sitting here. Um, sign of the times, uh, Steve Stricker, Lee Jansen, Lee Jansen. I've heard of, I'm not a huge golf fan. I'll put that out there too. Uh, even though I'm super excited for the woods and stuff, let's just throw Lee Jansen in the mix. Lee Jansen, son of the times autograph can go out with that two card lot now, two card. Um, we're at, uh, 25, we're at 27. His only major was the open. Troy says, uh, Jaden, I, I know we've got lots of different golf. Uh, oh, <laughs> Rosie wants to see Lopez. Um, she was a top female golfer. Yeah. The Mike Weir, uh, did we do that on here, Larry or Barb? I think we had the Mike Weir autograph like this at one point through one of our shows. Um, we're at 27, 27, looking for 30 on the pairing. Rosie, you want the, uh, you want me to do, does anybody else want the, the Lopez or should we just work out a deal with Rosie? Um, Brooke Henderson autograph. There's 30. Whoops. Where'd we go here? Um, Thirty dollars or so there. Tom Watson, Troy. You know what? I think I've got a huge Tom Watson autograph poster, like a massive one. But for some reason, I think it's personalized to somebody. I can't remember. But I'll check that out for you and let you know. Katie, you want to write that down for Troy? I can check it out and see. So what am I checking? Uh, a, a Tom Watson autograph. I think I got a huge one. Oh, yeah, the weir was before Patrick. I thought so. Um, Two thousand one. There's thirty three. Um, oh, well, Larry's got his own, so there's two Mike Weirs out there. <laughs> Rosie, I saw you ordered for eBay there. I packaged up your, your order today and it went out. Um, I know I was supposed to pull those for you, sorry, but I'm glad you got them anyways. I felt bad when I saw they sold and then I looked and it was for you, so that was good. Chris got the Weir, we're at 22. 20 or 33 33 looking for 35 33 looking for 35 um if you guys go to our old ebay account to show 11 we're actually starting to put up a bunch of older memorabilia and stuff on there and i know we just put up probably 20 or 30 autograph golf 8 by 10s so there's probably at least 20 or 30 golf 8 by 10s up on our old to show 11 let us know see if katie can put the link up there uh, let us know the same thing. Just message us. We can make it much cheaper for you. I think a lot of them are only $19.99 or $29.99. Right? Yep. Yeah. Tio Show 11. If you go check it out, that's uh, that's our old account, but we've reactivated it with, uh, we're going to be putting, uh, we just put a bunch of pucks up there and a bunch of eight by 10 golf photos and, and stuff like that. So if um, we'll put a bunch of stuff that way, Katie uh, is just working on that there, Bruce. We're at $38. $38 on the pairing going once. $38 on the pairing going once. There you go. TO Show 11. The link's on the bottom there. 
uh, go check it out. Yeah, there's a whole pile of golf. We're starting to dig out all the golf stuff now because we're getting ready for. Uh, we couldn't believe how fast we sold out of all the artifacts, and people were were all on the golf train again. So, um, I think it'll be a popular one for sure. Uh, what was this here? Once comments. Uh, Patrick passes. Mr. D is thirty-eight dollars once. Thirty-eight dollars once. We're gonna be twice. Twice at thirty-eight dollars on the pairing. Twice thirty-eight dollars on the pairing of Duvall and Lee Jansen. Uh, again, I had a stricker here. Seamus Sandicar. Does anybody know who she is? Anthony Kim or Bill Haas. Those are other ones sitting here. They used to do a pretty good job with it. Like some of the some of the the cards look look pretty cool. Those are the autograph rookie jerseys that they did in the golf. Well, that one doesn't have a jersey on it. That one does for a shirt. So again, we are looking uh, forward to seeing what they do with with some of the golf stuff coming up. We we're once, we we're twice. Um, what uh, is that? The I don't know which one that is, Bruce. Which one, Alonzo is that? I can't remember. Um, I like the position of the cards. It looks like Duvall is sending the chili pepper up. <laughs> okay, okay. It's been a while since they put out an upper deck golf route. Yeah, they haven't had the license since 2014, Patrick. That's why everybody's stoked. Uh, but I don't know if they realize how much the demand has gone up on products since that. So, uh, Kate, Katie, this is sold. Finish this off. Mr. D takes these down for 38 bucks, $38. Okay, I'm going to try one more of these, you guys. And if it doesn't fly, then this last, I'll try one of the hard-to-get ones. Let's try this then, the franchise trios. Franchise trios, Carey Price, Weber, and Domi. Carey Price, Weber, and Domi. Again, you're only getting these about one every 25 packs or so um, from brand-new Timmy's. Uh, again... Let's see how that is. Otherwise, Timmy's is going away for the night. I got some football sitting here for you that I want to try try to get out. I got a Chase Claypool rookie I can put up next. I know some of you guys like Chase. We'll put that out there, BC boy. Um, there you go. Dan's got the tin cup reference. Um, we are as happy as that $7. Jason's at $10. Um, I haven't seen that for so long. To, is it is Tin Cup the one we have the uh, the autograph flag of? I can't. We have some autograph golf flag from a movie there sitting there. Uh, Nathan's a short again. We're at ten. Nathan, uh, ten looking for fifteen. Ten looking for fifteen. Says I and, the Alonzo gold label card. Up. Oh, the gold label autograph. Yeah, that is a that is a nice one, Bruce. For sure, those those are really nice. We're at twelve. 12 looking for 15 12 looking for 15 if you guys haven't done the timmies for before and and for a price point reference on these a lot of these this franchise trios cards probably a 40 dollar card 30 to 40 dollar card somewhere in there um and then they they'll trickle down the i've seen the edmonton wilder oilers one this morning for about 50 uh so if you don't just think that if you hit stuff out of timmies you didn't hit anything good these are definitely tougher to get ones the inserts for sure, we're twelve dollars. Twelve dollars going once. Twelve dollars going once again. Maybe just not a Timmy's crowd. I like the product. Um, hopefully, more people do too. Um, there you go, Michael. Michael's asking a golf question. I couldn't tell you. We haven't had the TV turned on. Katie turns the TV on at the store once in a while, but <laughs> we haven't looked at anything. Last I saw about the Masters was the giant crocodile crossing the green because there was a big rainstorm oh there you go we're at once only once at twelve dollars on this we're it's gonna, be, gonna be twice any uh any of you guys doing this set when you come in to pick up singles later and you're seeing these for 30 40 50 dollars just remember this was 12 dollars on here um we're once we're twice um, I got a Chase Claypool rated rookie coming next. Well, it probably was. It was the one that was on there. Okay, we don't have all night. This one's sold embarrassingly low for only twelve dollars. That's uh, 
that's disgusting. <laughs> Goodbye, happy. Twelve dollars. I don't even know what more to say to that. I'm putting all the Timmies in the box. Okay. Uh, Chase Claypool rated rookies. Chase Claypool, BC boy rated rookies. This is from Do Donruss. I just pulled this about an hour ago. 2020 Donners football. Chase Claypool rookie card. Looking for one dollar. No doubt, happy. That's a cost of like six packs. Um, we are looking for a dollar on this. Tyler, you know how much Timmy's cards are worth. We just had the Montreal Trios card go for only $12. I don't know. Maybe people aren't aware of what Timmy's stuff sells for. Um, we're at 15 to Happy, 10 to Bruce, 15 to Happy. Or was that? Oh, oh which, yeah, that's on this one. 15 looking for 20. 15 looking for 20 on the Claypool rated rookie card. Um I'm just I thought maybe Happy was gonna bid against him. Well he could have. Yeah, he could have. <laughs> Steve Steve's at twenty. Even fifteen wouldn't make me forty would have forty would have been a disappointment on that card. So never mind twelve. Uh we are hold on, I'm just putting these away. Oh, Happy's getting ready for Christmas. We are what's that? I like the new aviator photo. Oh, I can't see it. Avatar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Avatar, <laughs> Aviator. <laughs> that would work, too, if you got your photo with Aviators. But, um, yeah, exactly. That's what uh, that's what I was just trying to tell them, Tyler. But I don't know if they thought I was just trying to pump their tires or not. Um, we are at $22, 22 looking for 25 oh, no. 22 Tyler, looking for 25 making them feel any better. <laughs> $22 looking for 25 what is that photo, Happy? Is that you in the Memorial Cup that didn't show up to Kelowna this year? I can't see. And he's got a Santa. Does he get a Santa hat on there? $22 going once. $22 going once. Um, yeah, a lot of people are probably just getting ready for Series 1, Michael. I agree. It's uh, Everybody's going to be. What are you guys thinking now that we're getting closer, that uh, LaFournier rookie? What do you guys think that's going to come out at that card? My mom, happy Friday the 13th. Oh, there you go, Mom. That, that is a good reminder. It's good luck for 2020 to have Friday the 13th because everything else is at back ass, ass backwards. That is probably sound and logical thinking. So we'll roll with that. It wasn't a horrible day. It was just uh, just a day, I guess. Uh, Chase Claypool, rated rookie. We are at $22 once. 22 Oh, there's Chris at 23 23 looking for 25 23 looking for 25 there's 25 um did you have a drink out of it happy we were somewhere one time with memorial cup and had a drink out of it i can't remember where uh 25 looking for 30 um it's uh troy if you just search uh seller it's to show 11 so to show uh, 11 yeah it was on the bottom but he's looking for it now teal show 11 for golf stuff up on our old ebay account and just just uh messenger us, us through facebook though asking for a deal on it don't message us through ebay that doesn't work um bruce is guessing 175 i'll take them all bruce i will take them all 27 dollars. there's 30 dollars uh, i'm guessing closer to 300 on the young guns but we'll see i hope you're right bruce because if you are we definitely plan on buying a whole pile of them, um, but I'm guessing uh, I'm guessing they're going to be that best player to war number thirteen. What Dan Marino wear? What's Marino thirteen? I can't remember if he wore thirteen hockey. If you're talking hockey, that's a sketchy number. Will Chamberlain? Will Chamberlain wore number thirteen? Yeah. There's thirty three. Thirty three. What football players or see I knowing Sean he's probably talking hockey. I don't know. 13 is uh what number was Datsik? Was he 17 for some reason? I'm trying to think of what what number Datsik was. 33 looking for 35. 30 yeah, Dan, Mar Dan Marino did. Dan Marino did. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that. They see that cool picture we got. No, do you have a picture of that? 30 Oh, that's a sneak. They watch Ryan that's a sneak freak for Oh, Alex Rodriguez. No. Alex Rodriguez is a bum. Steve Nash. 33. Steve Nash is a good pick there. Ah, oh, Solani's a good pick there, Happy. Alessandro Nisa. Solani would be a good pick for 13, even though he changed. What do you got for hockey, Katie? 
33 going once, 33 going once. So oh, there's 35, 35 on the Chase Claypool, 35. Datsuk was 13. Sundin? No, I can't put Matt Sundin in anything. I can't stand that guy. I don't know why. No, I never liked that guy. Yeah, Jay, we just discovered that. But Matt Sundin, I, I don't know what it is about that guy. I never considered him a, a good player in anything. I Just a yeah, bum. Yeah, there you go. Datsuk was 13. We were once... And it wasn't even that I didn't like him before he came to the Canucks, um, but uh, I like uh, I like Datsuk for sure. Marino was a beauty in football. Um, Slani Slani was definitely uh, happy. Didn't like Sunday either. There's 38, 38 looking for 40, 38 looking for 40. Um, that uh, I've had a couple of those Slani. Uh, number 13 pieces signed. Those are pretty sweet. Um, it was his forehead. Yeah, that's why I didn't like him was his forehead. He just looked like a big, yeah, I don't know. We won't get it. I'm not a, I've never been a big Leafs fan anyways. Happy's at $40. Steve Taylor says wearing his Barzell. That's a good call for currently wearing it. Um, there's 43, 43 looking for 45, 43 for 45 on the, uh, a Chase Claypool rated rookie card. I've got the Justin Herbert here as well of this, uh, but it is the canvas one, so I might hold on to that. Um, you bought that one. You guys want to see a cool? I don't think I've done this before. This was pretty cool. I got a box of Phoenix today. I got a Joe Burrow out of fifty, a Joe Burrow out of one ninety nine, and a Joe Burrow out of uh, two ninety nine, all in the same box. So I thought that was pretty cool. I've got them all sleeved up, ready to go to PSA. Um, but I thought that was pretty neat today. So maybe Friday the 13th not so bad, Mom. Uh, we are $43 going once. $43 going once. Happy passes. Uh, Troy is his head. Number 13 with my fire helmet was with the fire department. Lucky 13. There you go, Mr. D. Um, he did, he had the personality of a rock, Bruce. I'll give you that. Like, you no know, flash, no, I don't know. It's not, I can't even remember a single, just wanted to play I can't even remember a single interview or anything with him, like anything that he was cool in. Um, well, that's enough about bashing Matt Sundin, I guess. We are once, we are twice. Remember when we got on that crazy rant, uh, a couple weeks ago about, uh, yeah. Big Country Reeves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Hey, 43 once, 43 twice. Chase Claypool is going to be gone. Chris, this is all ready for you to go to back at her PSA. I cleaned it and put it all in there and was going to send it out myself. So if you're ready, just let me know. We'll get it off to the graders for you. Oh, don't want to put I almost put another Darlene card out. That would have been horrific. Um, <laughs> Gary, if I had one, I would. <laughs> Number 61 of 99, 61 of 99, Carrie Price Winter. Carrie Price Winter card from the 2019 Singles Day. 2019 Singles Day, Carrie Price, number 61 of 99. <laughs> well, Jazz Paul, remember that big Paul. country, sleep country? Oh, God, here we go again. Uh -oh. We are it's looking for it all. Secrets on here. We do have a really cool memorabilia show coming up that features some cool, neat. Carrie oh yeah, pads. we talk about the Carrie Price pads we've got and the wall pads. I don't know when that's gonna air though. Five dollars to happy. Five looking make for sure ten. You, make sure you come into the store for your five minute visit tomorrow. We got something Why? to show you. What are you gonna show happy tomorrow? Well, what's on the wall? He saw it already, but it's oh yeah, that painting's uh. Happy that Carrie Price paintings in the store right now. If you want to come and in and drool on it, I don't know if it'll be I'll there long. Tell but... him I'll give him an extra two minutes. Just <laughs> flash it on there so people know what we're talking about. Doesn't there? Don't you have your picture on there with it? Oh, it might. Yeah. Uh, Sean, I don't know. I had uh, zero time to prepare today, so I'm just going through okay. stacks. This is the painting that Katie's talking about. That one's uh, on the. Uh, the wall at the store right now so that's a pretty cool one carrie got that for the ted Lindsay award a few years ago <laughs> happy wants that one um yeah it's a it is definitely definitely a cool cool card for sure i'm going through looking for it's some autographs for you here sean nice, nice um, from 
Oh yeah. Didn't Carrie mention that you're gonna get it anyways or something like that? That yeah, was pretty he funny. Didn't want me to get a picture by myself. Jess Ball, like, that painting said, is you know amazing. You gotta see it in detail. It's the nicest, so probably clearest painting like, we've the ever seen. Gold in his eyes. Yeah. Five dollars, five dollars going once. I was getting embarrassed. Where's Corey? <laughs> five dollars going once. Yeah, you were just hanging off him like a cheap suit. No, I was saying I was getting embarrassed because it was hanging in our house. Oh, yeah. the bathroom. Oh. Every time I walk out of the shower. <laughs> oh, you, what, do you that. stop? Too much information, Katie. <laughs> Katie's, jeez. Uh, Mike, I got a Claypool rookie auto I'm going to send your I way to send up for grading. Sounds good, Mike. Maybe I'll buy it off you. <laughs> it's so, so amazing is right. You go, he, there you go. Have you win the lottery, you can buy the whole store. We are at once, we are at twice twice only on this carry price i've got a huge carry price lot tonight oh, i guess corey. oh there's corey he was just waiting for his name to be mentioned oh, there's ten dollars right. cool um, yeah you've got a carry price corey we'll put it we'll have to compare it and we'll see what what they're like there we're once we're twice so i was just wondering where you were if this is a carry price card numbered out of 99 61 of 99 61 and 99 oh, only selling for ten dollars i might not have said it was numbered it is numbered out of 99 uh it's winter the winter set for sure um mike definitely that could be available i think it's gonna be what did mike say he wants that bc lions football it's signed by like a ton of guys and we know the black friday special yeah and we had we have no idea about cfl mike so i have no clue what's gonna be on i think what do we put on 75 bucks <laughs> Mike, I think we put $75 on that football for it's signed by I don't know how many BC Lions players. Um, you guys better make sure you tune in for the Black Friday special because it's just going to be there's a ton of autograph photos and stuff we put like 10 bucks on, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. So yeah. Katie and I were I in that. the storage locker clearing that stuff out. Yeah, there'll be some other stuff too, but uh, there's definitely going to be some good sales. Uh, twelve dollars going once. Twelve dollars going already? once. Had to drive a drunk friend home. He wasn't the drunk friend. He had to drive a drunk friend home. There you go. That's being oh, responsible, that's Corey. Katie was. Katie just read that sentence wrong just because she figured it was probably you, but <laughs> she just cut to drunk oh, home. <laughs> just typical woman home. jumping to conclusions. Hey, Corey. Uh, we are twelve dollars going once. Twelve dollars going once. On this carry price, we're gonna twelve dollars going twice. Twelve dollars going twice on this carry price, number sixty-one of ninety-nine. Um, again, yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, checking out that carry price painting, it's in the store. I don't know how long it'll be there. The store's got better insurance than we do, so maybe we'll leave it there. Uh, I know my faults got him buggered. <laughs> there you go, Corey. <laughs> um, you mean it's okay to drive home drunk asking for a friend? No, he drove a drunk friend home, I think, is right. I ha had to drive a drunk friend home. Yeah, he drove the yeah, drunk friend he home. Didn't have to drunk drive so, mind you, if his friend's drunk, I don't know how many he's had. He's well, home, he's no, safe, he's good. Um, Kate, this is sold and done. Sold and done at $12. $12 on this carry price, Katie. Can you oh, sorry, Chris come on. keeps asking me about Can you push sold, please? Thank you. Golf people. There's not a lot of bids. It's easy to keep up tonight. Okay. Dan Cluche autograph. Be a player. Dan Cluche Canucks autograph. Brad May. Vancouver Canucks autograph. Brad May. Dual Canuck lot. Dual Canuck lot. Any Sami Zayn fans out there? Any Canada Canadian wrestling fans got a Sami Zayn autographed sitting here. Got a couple of Joe Carter jersey cards. I might get out here tonight too. Um, looking for a dollar. Looking for a dollar for any Canucks fans that might have remembered these guys. Looking for one dollar. Brad May and Dan Cluche autograph pairing. Um, Sean starts us at twelve bucks. Uh, you didn't tuck him in though. That a boy, Corey. You just just open the door, push him out. And he can crawl, uh, crawl from the lawn. Um, Carol, you're the only person interested in the Lopez, so I just put your name on it. We'll just hold it for you. So if you want, I can just hold it for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll take those if you pay me five bucks. Brad May was awesome there. I don't know if you met him as a person. He's a super cool guy. I don't know. Uh, 
he takes maybe a little bit of gruff from uh, being a goon or whatnot, but he he's super nice guy and and Cloutier, well, he held it for a little while, but we're at twelve dollars, twelve to Sean, looking for fifteen, twelve to Sean, looking for fifteen. Uh, I've got a two a card sitting here. We might get to a Herbert card. I don't know. Um, Rosie, I had uh, all those other Ottawa cards. Oh, you know what? There's an Ottawa Stanley Cup Ottawa puck sitting on the desk too, with your with a post-it note with your name on it too. There, Rosie. Um, so it might be interesting. I got to. Uh, I'll get Katie to send you a picture tomorrow. Uh, Brooke Henderson card. Did we have one, Steve? Did I say that name? That doesn't sound like a name that I said, but it's possible. Did I say Brooke Henderson, or is it up on our Facebook? Um, left his keys and phone in my truck. Might have an issue. Yeah, if he's laying on his lawn, passed out, and he can't get inside. Um, Happy says, I hate Sami Zayn so much, I'd rather doink the clown wrestle. Does that mean you wouldn't want his autograph, he'd Happy? Rather, he'd rather doink the clown? Mayday. <laughs> no, his name is... <laughs> Happy? His name, the clown's name was Doink, Katie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I absolutely remember May Day for sure. Okay, well, let's roll these out then. We're going to be once. We're going to be once. Uh, Steve, I think that might be one of the 8x10s up on our, uh, on the eBay. I'd have to, I'd have to check. I don't have a card sitting here handy, that's for sure. Uh, May is a good guy. Met him in Vancouver. Um, Brooke Henderson once. Okay. Nobody's interested in this. Is it nine o'clock already, guys? It's getting awful close. So we're going to start winding this down. We are at oh, once. Andrea wants to bid. Who, are, who is it? Uh, they're uh, Dan Colucci and Brad May, Andrea. Vancouver Canucks, Dan Colucci and Brad May autographs. We're at $12. $12 going once, $12 going twice. $12 going twice. Um, Bruce wants to know why Happy's doinking clowns as well. <laughs> Only wrestling fans will understand Happy. We're <laughs> once, we're twice. Uh, wasn't Doink a, a few different guys? I thought he was a few few different guys there um, back in the day. That's just a... <laughs> <laughs> you know? Why would we name a guy Doink? Because if he was Doink. Come here, Doink. <laughs> One, twice. <laughs> Watch out for Doink. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh. Oh, you got her just in in time, Nathan. Just in time. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen dollars. That's as close as it gets. I pushed sold, and before it clicked up there, Nathan was there. Nathan at fifteen dollars. I got a Michael Backlund lot coming next. Michael Backlund lot. Um, Nathan's at fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars to Nathan going once. Fifteen going once. Um, they had a couple, yeah. They did. They, they did have a couple doinks for for sure. They, uh, I think. Um, I'm trying to think. He was in one of the bigger tag teams too. But we'll have to have a show where we, or maybe we'll just have a couple beers, sit and talk wrestling, where the girls don't make fun of us. Maybe we'll sit outside and have a couple beers this summer and talk about wrestling. Because um, if Katie starts hearing about multiple doinks, she's gonna get excited. Um, <laughs> We are fifteen dollars once, even though Katie doesn't got it up there. Fifteen dollars going twice. It is golf girls. Fifteen dollars. Chris, go look yourself on no, the. He <laughs> wants every female go golfer. You didn't know we had all those, Chris. Uh, Corey's saying hacksaw Jim Duggan. We're at twice, Katie. Hacksaw Jim Duggan oh for God. president. Okay, Chris will text after seven. He uh, he might have been a better choice than this year's candidates, but we don't talk religion or politics on this show uh remember your mini doink oh mini doink yeah i do <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's uh they were those were simpler times in wrestling it was way easier to, to yeah, follow and keep track yeah let's sell this off uh hold on okay hold on i'll push it here nathan takes these down for 15 bucks sold to nathan for 15 dollars dan cluche brad may okay Michael Backlund, Michael Backlund, uh, number 231, 231 out of 99, 999. Michael Backlund, OPG rookie, marquee rookie, Michael Backlund, uh, numbered out of 699, 699. 
SB game use Michael Backlund. This looks like a four four card lot and a black diamond quad diamond. Black diamond quad diamond Michael Backlund. So four cards. Michael Backlund. Hopefully somebody's a fan. Put those out there. Looking for a dollar. Looking for a dollar to start us on this Michael Backlund lot. Look for one dollar. Um all those old wrestling guys, I mean, that's why we watched so much wrestling back then. I'll show you that Sami Zayn auto then, just in just in case you change your mind. But there's Sami Zayn auto. He's a Canadian wrestler, guys. Can't hate his character. Uh, I guess you can hate his character, but good wrestler. Steve's at ten dollars. Ten dollars. Uh, I don't think I got any Rockets cards. I've got these four Calgary Flames ones. Um, Nathan, Series 1 goes live on Wednesday. So Series 1 goes live on Wednesday. So everybody will be cracking for the Fournier on then. Um, there was someone on here during the Lumber Kings break that wanted a Richard Berdur card. I can't remember who that was. Um, we just had – did you guys – Are you Mike, are you putting that up there because we, we told Patrick? Katie actually kicked Richard Berdur out of the store the other day, her and their COVID police. Um, the <laughs> This older guy was trying to get in with his family, and Katie said, no, we're over the limit. And then the guy starts talking and buying some stuff, and then he's at the till, and he's like, oh, my dad played in the NHL. And I was like, oh, who's your dad? He's like, oh, Richard Berdur. Uh, she won't let him in. He's leaning against the window out there. <laughs> so so he was sitting outside the store, not allowed in. Uh, we had Richard at a signing before. We're actually getting, working on another event here for you guys with him. So as long as you guys keep paying attention to the Flex show, uh, you guys will be the first to know if you keep watching the Flex show on uh, Richard Berdur. It's definitely so worth not, tuning Richard, in. The problem, are you uh, bragging that uh, your girlfriend makes sure that the store is safe? And no, open, no. Or? I just thought it was funny that you'd <laughs> kick a hockey player out on the streets yeah, and then the let some of the over. homeless guys in looking to sell their pop cans. No, I don't let them <laughs> We are Fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars going once, fifteen dollars going once on the four card lot. Michael Backlund, um, definitely will. Uh, we've got some awesome autograph pictures from him before and some stuff when we had a signing in the shop before, guys. So uh, we're going to be doing a, a Richard Berger giveaway here very soon. Um, so we'll be doing uh, we'll be doing a thing real soon and with him, and you guys will probably get a chance to talk to him and ask him some questions. So. We're well, working on that. Super nice guy. Uh, like I say, we worked with him before. It was funny because his grandson was with him and he had bought a box of like a tin of something. And he was just jonesing to open it. I was like, man, that's the longest. I don't know how you can keep that sealed that long. It's pretty funny. He wanted to open it right on the street. Um, Giddy man's the store with an iron fist. Yeah, she. it could have been uh, Tiger Woods walking in if she would have kicked him out, I think. she was. Uh, if you're over five, watch out. Um, we are once, once at seventeen dollars. Once, once at seventeen dollars. No, I mean five people. Oh, I like, I don't, you don't care baby. about age. Yeah. <laughs> we're once. A baby, I might make the exception. <laughs> we're twice. Yeah, I don't know. Um, she needs to be a Walmart greeter. There you go. And Mike's back to his card <laughs> okay mike we'll figure it out we're once we're twice this is gonna be done then sold four card backland lot 17 dollars four card backland lot 17 dollars i think they want to see some more football uh what do you want to see that two a card I don't. I gotta learn how to say this guy's name. Tua Tegovalia. Tegovalia. Gridiron Kings. Rookie Gridiron Kings. Tua. Brand new Donruss. Football. Tua. Yeah. His mom probably for sure. Eh. Call him Tua. She doesn't even know how to spell his last name. Nope. Looking for a dollar. Looking for a dollar to start us on the Tua card. Um. There you go, Corey. Kick her out. Gloves in if, your show home. That's true. We did have to wear gloves in there, Corey. Like, so. Or, like, latex gloves. Or 
King Richard Ritter played for the Canucks. Well, thanks, Will. I thought I'd recognized him, but I wasn't sure. Uh, Fifteen dollars to Happy, twenty dollars to Steve. He's got one of the coolest nicknames in uh, sports history for sure, and lots of the autographs we have from him, he actually he puts King in them. So I might. Uh, oh, you know what? I do. I know I do have some here stashed away, but uh, I won't be able to get to them tonight. But um, we're at twenty two dollars. Twenty two dollars looking for twenty five. Maybe that'll be the next. If we ever get a 69 on the show again, we'll, that'll be one of the things on the wheels. Richard Berdur photos. $22 on the Tua uh, rookie gridiron. Rookie gridiron from Tua. <laughs> he's the star. <laughs> you think he's too old for that? <laughs> I said it quietly. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say something really bad, but I won't. We're $22 going once then, $22 going once on the Tua, $22 going once. Um, <laughs> there you go, because Katie's too touchy-feely. <laughs> she wanted uh, to open and slam everything, right there, uh, Corey? Um, we are $22 going once, $22 going once on the Tua. Yeah. Any any Pierre Turgeon autograph fans or Pierre Turgeon fans here? Any Pierre Turgeon fans? Got an autographed puck card here. Uh, we are once. Um, Orlando Kernback played for the Canucks in 71 72. Are those years worth anything? Uh, 71 72 OPG is a beauty set there, Nathan. Once, we're twice. The most expensive card in that set is actually card number 111. It's a checklist. Um, uh, so uh, finding that number 111 unmarked is really tough. $22 on the 2-2 two -two on the Tua. 2-2 two -two on the Tua card. We're once. We're going to be twice. Did everybody pass on this one? Looks like it. Tua sold. $22. Set and done. Gavel that, Katie. Perfect. Gone. Thank you. Pierre Turgeon autograph signature puck. Pierre Turgeon autograph signature puck from Trilogy. This is from 1819 Trilogy. I don't know. Do we have Trilogy pre-orders up on the website? I think so. If we do, I can tell you guys pretty much you're safe to pre-order anything and everything. <laughs> it's all uh, going to be sold out and hard to find or more money than what you're seeing at pre-order prices. So if there's anything you're interested in, make sure you... You lock it down, pre-order. Happy starts us at seven bucks on seventy-seven. Seven bucks looking for ten. Seven bucks looking for ten on the Pierre Turgeon autograph. Um, fitting that an Islanders card, I guess, goes up with uh, King Richard Berdur lost in the final. What was that? Eighty-two? Was it eighty-two? The Canucks lost, I think. King Richard Berdur. Um, that's the thinnest puck ever. Um, in 80, 82, Richard Berger was the goalie for the Canucks. And they lost in the finals to the Islanders. We are $7, 7 looking for 10 on the New York Islanders trilogy signature puck. There's $10, $10. Uh, yeah, I thought it was happy. 82, 82, 94, 2010. There's probably a lot of Canucks fans that love all those years. Um, we are 10, we are $12. 12 looking for 15, 12 looking for 15 for Pierre Turgeon. I guess Sean, yeah, this is a, he's a Hall of Famer, I'm sure, isn't he? Pierre Turgeon, got to be in the Hall of Fame. Um, but uh, Will is Pierre Turgeon in the Hall of Fame? Will's like Siri on here. You can just ask him a question, then it pops up. I think, uh, I think he is, pretty sure he is. 12 looking for 15, 12 looking for 15. On the Pierre Turgeon autographed puck card, $12 going once. This might be the closest to a Hall of Famer old autograph you get tonight, Sean. I'm looking through my stacks here, and I'm not uh, decked out here too well. We are, we just hit the one hour mark. Seems like days. <laughs> We're at uh, Ronnie Ellis. Is Ronnie Ellis one of your guys there, Sean? I got a Ronnie Ellis autograph sitting here. Um from one of the Toronto sets. We're once. We're going to be twice. Thank you, Will. Twice. 
Uh, Sean says, victim of one of the greatest cheap shots of all time. I thought that was Paul Correa and Eric Lindros. <laughs> Once uh, Jay says, I've been watching Tim Horns breaks all day. Nice cards for a cheap product. Yeah, not on here, Jace. We tried it earlier today, but it didn't fly. I, uh, I've i put all the Timmy's cards you're probably going to see on here. He's not in the Hall of Fame. There you go. Pierre Turner. No, in 1982. Uh, where once, where it. twice. That is a great player. I'm surprised he's not in the Hall of Fame. Sold, especially with some of the bums they let in there. Okay. Sold and done. Happy's cleaning up tonight. Sold. Need Warren to get on there with his 69 party. Tyson Jost. Tyson Jost. Autograph. Same kind of card. Trilogy signature pucks. As Bruce said, it's a pretty thin puck. Autographed in silver on the uh, manufactured puck surface there. Jost. Um, looking for a dollar. Third $12 win. There you go. You're rolling. Happy starts at $5. Whoops, $5, 5 looking for 10 Uh, He's the highest scoring player not in the Hall of Fame. That's uh, that's an interesting one. I'm, I'm surprised he's not in there, but there you go. Never won a cup. That's probably not going to help. What were you looking for on pre-order? Uh, Trilogy. I was wondering if it's on the site there. So, uh, nope. No? Okay. If you guys see Trilogy hit the site... Uh, Make sure you scoop it up. Uh, I know some of the stores in the states are getting Penology. super al allocated on that. Five dollars going once, Penology, then. I have four left. Tyson Jost autograph only five dollars. Five dollars. Maybe we'll just turn this into an uh, a, a chat room instead of an auction. <laughs> we are five dollars. Five dollars going once. Clear cuts up on there too. Hopefully, yeah. okay. There you go, guys. If uh, if you haven't pre-ordered Clear Cut, that's another big one for you to get. We are five dollars. We are seven dollars. Happy says Reigns walks out in the Thunderdome to start SmackDown. There's a bum. We've got a Roman Reigns autograph up on one of our uh, on our eBay our store eBay site right now. Um, lots of great players don't win cups. I know it's uh, it is one of their. It's interesting how that plays into their their uh, thing though. Um, chess ball on the hall of fame like for your to get on the ballot definitely a stanley cup win or a winner definitely championship team helps you out a lot but there is lots of hall of fame players that that don't have uh there's larry and barbara 10 mike at 11 that don't have hall of fames come on let's see 12 there you go will find uh find out what percentage of hall of famers haven't won stanley cup rings i bet you it's a pretty stunningly low number uh, obviously you got to go just the players, not the, not the builders and all that other stuff that they put on there. Steve's the first to 12, 12 looking for 15, 12 looking for 15, but, uh, it's most of it would be for sure. Iggy's one guy that doesn't have a cup. Yep. He's absolutely there. I'm not saying they're not in there. I just saying that, uh, they're definitely, uh, yeah, it's not, not a super high percentage for sure. Um, I got an exquisite. Brock Besser card coming up next. Exquisite Brock Besser. There, we're over the $12 hump. We're at $13. $13. $13. $13. dollars going once. $13 going once. And Tyson Jost autograph trilogy puck. Um, I don't know uh, that stat, if that stat's even on. Marcel Dion's another guy. Yeah, absolutely. Marcel, one of the nicest guys you will meet. Um and especially if you go to the Toronto show, he's just all over the place. We're at twice, I think. Twice or once? What are we at just here? Once. Just once? Whoops. Did you already do that then? Sorry. There we go. I corrected it. Um, we are once then, once at $13. I got to type it in first here. I'll type it in and you put it up. Yeah. Is that the way it works? There we go. Okay. Twice. There you go. Twice at $13 to Mike Sherla. Twice at $13. Mike Sheila, I've got, is there any Marcel Dion fans around? I got a one-on-one -on -one stick card sitting here, but I might run it next week. Um, you know there is 50 coaches in the hall without a cup. There you go. That's, uh, <laughs> there's got to be, uh, no, there can't be 50 coaches in the Hall of Fame without a cup, Bruce. 
all the a lot of those coaches, all one Stanley Cups that are in there. There can't be that many in there. Now I just want to look up Hall of Fame stats all night. Where I want that's how you go down the the rabbit hole. Uh, happy, yeah, it's a one on one stick card, but uh, the way we're running this game tonight, uh, I can't be selling it for four dollars, so we'll wait on that one. We are going to be sold. This is sold for thirteen dollars. Sold for thirteen dollars. Tyson Jost autograph puck card. Okay, exquisite Brock Besser, exquisite Brock Besser rookie, two eighty three of two ninety nine, two eighty three of two ninety nine. Exquisite Brock Besser rookie card from 1718. Exquisite. Uh, we just got 1718 back in stock today. I was wondering that myself, Happy, <laughs> if there's 50 coaches in the Hall of Fame. Maybe you meant like from the 1950s. No. No? Is there a. F I know there's 50s coaches. Is 50 co Who knows? I don't know. Um, uh, 13-1 on the 13 should be a wheel spin. Yeah, we'll just give more away today, Mike. <laughs> we are, uh, the 69 wheel is in effect. I don't know if we'll get there tonight, but 69 wheel. Uh, sorry, there's over 50 great coaches without. Oh, not in the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay, not in the Hall of Fame. There you go. Rosie starts us at 5 bucks on the Besser, 5 bucks. There's Andrea at 10. Andrea at 10, Bruce at 10. Um, they, uh, without a cup. Yeah, well, there's probably lots of good coaches that never, never got a cup, but though they wouldn't be in the hall, I would think, is what you're saying, Bruce. Jason at 15, Nathan at 14, 15 looking for 20, 15 looking for 20 on the Brock Besser. Uh-oh. There's Warren. Troubles in the house at 25, 25 to Warren looking for 30, 25 to Warren looking for 30. He missed some steals tonight, buddy. I'll tell you that. $25. Looking for 30 on this uh, Brock Besser exquisite rookie card. Number uh, 283 at 299 283 at a 299 Worn at $25. 25 going once. $25 going once. Hulk smash is here. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Make it rain. Uh, you could have, I think $25 is more than we're up to on everything already. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? Happy Friday the 13th. We are uh, chipping away, I tell you, chipping away. Um, did you see Aaron once? Oh, he was at the store today. Uh, we are $25 going once, $25 going twice, even though we don't have it on there. There we go. My five dollars going twice on. This is a cool card. I I get got this in our eBay stack today, but it's kind of a neat one. Harrison Ford and Chewbacca out of ten. Harrison Ford and Chewbacca out of ten, sitting there. It's going to be going up on our eBay. Three of ten. I thought it was kind of a neat Star Wars card. Uh, we are once. We're twice. I'm trying to look. Oh, there's a Macar rookie card we can put out here. Um, where once, twice, $25. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Happy. I, sorry, I forgot that. Um, we are sold, sold and done. Uh, Tyler said, I'm out. I'm in and out, but any, uh, I don't think so tonight, bud. Nothing, uh, no Forsberg. I, you know what? I might have a Ryan Smith card here for you, but I'll just hold it till next time. No problem. Um, Candidate must receive 75% of the members on the committee. Okay. 43. Okay. Did we sell this one already? Yeah. Okay. This is sold. Sold and done. Okay. Uh, Kale McCarr. Kale McCarr Artifacts Rookie. 488 of 999. 488 of 999. Uh, 1920 Artifacts Rookie. Artifacts is out December 15th. Um, looking for a dollar. That's uh, that's a cool card, isn't it? Happy that uh, 10 for sure. Um, Corey wants uh, let's auction Harrison in the furry bugger. Maybe on a normal night, I might try there, Corey, but uh, not tonight. We are at seven dollars seven on the Macar. 
Seven bucks looking for 15. Seven looking for 15. On the Macar Artifacts rookie card, numbered out of 999. I forgot. Uh, yeah, JCU and uh, Aaron used to play poker together. So it is probably a long time. <laughs> There's $10. 10 looking for 15. 10 looking for 15. On the Macar, numbered out of 999. Macar, numbered out of 999. I've got a Justin Herbert um, Phoenix Flamethrower coming up. Phoenix Flamethrowers, Justin Herbert. Um, they, Warren, did you pre order any? If you're not in a pre order, they're going to be on the shelf at 120. Did you say? 120 on the shelf, Warren, on Wednesday morning. One two, yeah. Well, they'll they should be on the they'll be on the shelf at one twenty on Wednesday morning. That's the last uh, last price that we're going to be able to guarantee on there. Twelve bucks to happy. Um, so yeah, so uh, one twenty will be the the shelf price. Warren, just let Katie know um, if you're not going to be down that day. We can hold some in and lock lock them in at that price for you. But uh, it's going to be awful sketchy. They're going to be sold out real quick. 13 looking for 15 13 looking for 15 i've never had to protect series one orders before and uh and hold stuff okay. uh oh you know what here's a tua card it's not up for auction tonight if anybody's interested in this tua it's uh it's an awesome patch out of out of 50 36 of 50 Tua patch i was gonna put it up uh, on ebay so if anybody wants it before it hits ebay 125 125 bucks on this Tua certified new generations patch just let us know and we will uh, put your name on it instead of putting it up on eBay. Um, 125 on that Tua rookie patch out of 50. Andrea's at $13 going once. $13 going once. Uh, are you going on 11 years in Australia? Holy jeez. It doesn't seem like that long, but that is that is a long time ago for sure. Absolutely, Chris. It is on my list. I ask people for, but uh, game you sticks don't pop up too often for sure. Um, we are at $13 going once. Um, Bruce is eating good beans or something. If you guys wonder why I tried to read all the questions, is anybody watching on YouTube can't see the, uh, the comments on here. So I try to keep whoever's watching on YouTube entertained on here. We are once at $13. Okay, Warren's going to take the Tua. It's sold. Thank you, sir. Katie just put that 125 on the Tua for Warren. That's a super nice card, isn't it? I like the uh, the multicolor piece there. It's a definitely definitely an awesome card. Um, put that in there. 120 or uh, For 125 we are $13 on this Makar Artifacts Rookie. We are once. We are twice. Have you figured out a two and a half button yet tonight? Not yet. We're once, we're twice. Oh, what's Katie smashing? Well, so that they hit the buttons harder. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there it's sold. Andrea's taking this down for $13. $13. Like, and Andrea laid the smackdown so that people would Yeah, Andrea, did you figure out a way to get these guys to stop bidding? Um, here's a Justin Herbert uh, flamethrower. Justin Herbert flamethrower no, from funny. Phoenix. Too bad. It's uh, brand new 2020. He's in his Chargers uniform. Gone are the college uniforms. Justin Herbert, flamethrowers. Trying to get that up there without the shine on there. Kyle trying to bid for the, the car. Where is he bidding? I think Kyle team? is that on the Herbert. I'll just wait till he confirms. We'll see. Um, candidates must receive 75% of the member of the Hall of Fame. Yeah, to be inducted, right, Will? But that doesn't help us with how many people won Stanley Cups. Uh, Jason says, I have a Bertuzzi, Henrik Sedin, Luongo game. You sticks in your surfing room. Those are uh, probably some of the only hockey sticks in Australia over there. Hey, bud, that's uh, a long time ago. Well, yeah, 12 years, I guess. Uh, Kyle, is this for this? Is this $20 for this, or was it for that? Uh, was that for the other one? Aaron and Jason have got their own conversations going on here, messing me up. <laughs> we are at. Twenty dollars to Kyle on the Herbert. Um, Kyle, can you just confirm if that's for this card, please? Just waiting to see if Kyle confirms. I don't know. 
it was right in around that time when we were showing the other ones and not. So um, we got Kyle. Okay, Kyle's not answering. Oh, there you go. For the Macar, but too late. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Kyle. We're $10 then, $10 on the Herbert. Uh, sorry, I missed it there, Cal. Ten dollars on the Herbert. Oh, you know what? I've got the uh, I got the Rustin Russell Wilson of this too, so I'll throw it out too. Russell Wilson, flamethrowers. We'll throw that out. Um, it's pretty bad when Russell's got to be a throw-in with a good rookie, but uh, he didn't play so good last week. Um, no worries, Cal. Uh, we are ten dollars. Ten looking for fifteen. Ten looking for fifteen. Two flamethrowers. This should be cards that you get at like Burger King when you order a burger. Um, we're ten dollars then going once, ten dollars going once here, on the Herbert and the Wilson. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Too bad. I would have took your sixty nine bids. Um, we are there's twenty dollars, twenty dollars to Bruce, twenty looking for twenty five, twenty looking for twenty five. Um, Oh, I got this Gretzky coin. I got had some oddball stuff I forgot I was gonna put out tonight. Um, it's one of those odd nights, so maybe Bruce at twenty, happy at twelve, Steve at twenty-five, twenty-five on the the Herbert and Wilson flamethrowers lot. Uh, super nice card. I don't know if you can see the uh, the shine and the rainbow off of those. It just kind of jumps off there. Uh, Herbert Wilson. Flamethrower's lot, 25 to Steve, 25 looking for 30, 25 looking for 30 to Steve on this uh, more football lot. I don't know. Are we getting enough attention nowadays to do a football night? Are we uh, – is that something people would be into? I don't know. I guess it depends on what kind of night it is. Um, we are at uh, $25 then going once, $25 going once on the Herbert and Wilson $25 going once on the Herbert and Wilson uh, lot. I've got a Gretzky coin set here. Uh, $25 once, $25 going twice. $25 going twice on the Herbert and Wilson Chargers and Seahawks, of course. Um, maybe give time that... Uh, all those Joe Burrows are going to grading. This is probably going to be the last football card of the night, it looks like. Last football card of the night. Uh, once and twice, we're going to be done. Sold for $25 to Steve. Sold for $25. Candy, thank you. Steve, you left out. You could have gotten 69 from me. There you go. Mandem, Steve will start trying to sell it to you. <laughs> okay, this is it. Deal. You want to take that off there? Um, okay, so this is a Wayne Gretzky. Uh, it's from the Hall of Fame. Um, limited edition. They said they made 50,000 of them to induct to when Gretzky went into the Hall of Fame. So 50,000 of these coins there it's hard to see but 1999 wayne grexky coin uh with the hall of fame logo and everything on it it's kind of in this cardboard so i don't really want to pull it out but uh if you can see wayne grexky coin on there i don't know something different looking for a dollar uh steve is that the grexky Oh, he private text that. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Ten dollars to Happy. Ten looking for fifteen. Ten looking Are these for fifteen. Coins uh, out of fifty thousand, it says yeah. So I think when Gretzky retired, they had them at the hall that night. They're like a one of those limited edition things. Um, was there uh, any Curtis Joseph fans still around? I've got a neat coin here for Curtis Joseph. I know Tyler said he was going to be in and out throughout the night. He's always asking about good Curtis Joseph stuff. Oh, you know what? I have a baseball set here that's super cool. Andrew is at 11. 11 looking for 15. 11 looking for 15 on the Gretzky. 11 looking for 15 on the Gretzky. Um, yeah, this baseball set's a neat one too, so maybe we'll put it out. I don't know. We'll try some different stuff tonight. Nothing in the normal seems to be working, so <laughs> just keep chipping away, right? Uh, yeah, $11 going once, $11 going once.
I beat you. Eleven dollars to Andrea. I think twelve's the magic number tonight, Andrea. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven going once. Eleven going twice. Maybe coins aren't your guys' thing. Nobody likes Drexky anymore either. We're eleven dollars. There's Larry. Larry and Barb. I was wondering if you got that one. Um, fifteen to Larry and Barb. Fifteen to Larry and Barb on the Grexky coin set. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a Friday the Thirteenth there, Michael. Well, uh, it was going good. <laughs> fifteen dollars. I'll take that down. Fifteen dollars going once. So we won't be too much longer tonight. We'll probably cut it a little short. I haven't had dinner. Um, we're fifteen dollars. We're sixteen. Uh, Jess Paul said my wife's beside me or I would bid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, we are $16, 16 to Andrea on the Grexky coin, $16 going once, $16 going once, looking for 20 I think Andrea's already locked into her breaks on Wednesday night. Again, don't be left out on Series 1. Katie, you want to throw that up there? Series 1 breaks. It's going to be Wednesday night release. Uh, team breaks are $45 a spot. They get you the team for the whole case. So that's going to get you the team for the whole case of Series 1, 12 boxes worth. We're only breaking probably two cases that opening night. It's $45 a team. Don't expect to just roll in at 5 minutes to 11 or 5 minutes to 7 and get your uh, get your spot. Uh, you, you'll just be watching. So make sure you... Uh, Get your spots ahead of time. If you don't want to order it through the website, just phone us at the shop. We'll make it work. But just uh, we won't be. Before. Yeah, before we head home. I'm guessing we probably won't be taking last minute spots for this. So we want to be full. Yeah, I'm guessing it'll be sold. We'd like to be spot full by Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Just Paul's wife must have left the room. He's at 17. 17 looking for 20. 17 looking for 20. We won't tell her. $17 going once. You want to put the. Auction back up there. Oh. Thank you. Seventeen dollars going once on the Grexky coin. Seventeen dollars going once. Seventeen dollars going twice. Larry and Barb must have ran and checked to see if they did have that one. Uh, there's another Grexky coin I just put out in the showcase at the store. There, Larry, I could text you a picture of. Um, I can't remember which one it is a bronze one or something. Uh, we are once. We're in twice. Okay. Looks like this Grexky coin is going to be gone for $17. $17 and sold. Thank you, sir. I'll put that in there. Any baseball fans? I should see her face. <laughs> she looks she looks like a very pretty and understanding lady by your profile picture there, Jess Paul. So I'm sure she won't murder you in your sleep. Put it in your there you go. She could put it in your stocking. <laughs> they uh sometimes sometimes wives just don't understand at all or others i should say others andrew's saying no baseball well i'm gonna run this set because it's cool and sitting here here's 25 naturals from pinnacle they used to do really cool sets this is like a box set that came from pinnacle uh somewhere i don't know the year on this one maybe it'll say you open it up and it's got the naturals on it and the cards are all like, do do they call this? Uh, I can't remember what they call this stuff, but they're super cool. Anyways, Frank Thomas, Barry Bonds, Ken Griffey Jr. is in this set. Super nice looking cards. Look at the back on them. There's the foil. Is that his first win? There you go. We can mail it or you can pick it up. We can deal with that later. Gonzalez and Justice, Bill. Lofton Alomar, Blue Jays fans, Roberto Alomar's in this set. Happy Tim Salmon, Johnson, Puckett, Gwynn, McGriff, Sandberg. This is all uh, for one set, one price. Maddox, Williams, Dykstra, Sheffield, Piazza, Palmer, Fryman, maybe? Travis Fryman? Why do I not rem remember him? Berga. Ripken Jr. We had a Cal Ripken card on there a little while ago. John Olerud and Clemen Clemens, Roger Clemens. It's a neat set for sure, you guys. Well, let's put uh, we'll put Frank Thomas and 
Griffey out there. One price is probably not the day to do this set, but who knows? We'll let it run. 94, Bruce is saying. Congratulations to the first time. Does Santa, Santa does stockings. Um, perfect, Jess Ball. Uh, $20 to Bruce. Tony say in 1992. It's probably it's in that area there somewhere in the 90s. Let's see if there's a date on the back. 94 on the back there. Well, Nin was right. 1994. I wish they made some cards that look like that even today. It's just a neat looking set. $20 looking for 25. 20 looking for 25. You're going to get all 25 cards. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., the Naturals. Twenty dollars going once, then twenty dollars going once. We are probably gonna wind her down. I've got, you know what? I got a Dylan Dubé lot here uh, that I can put up, and I don't know. We might just call it a night. We've got. Did I stutter? <laughs> you might have, Bruce. Looks like ninety-four. He didn't say it was 94, Bruce. Come on now. Tony was more like 1992, like he thought, like he knew what it was. We are once. We're going to be twice. Twice at $20. Twice at $20. This whole set, 25 cards. 25 cards, the naturals. I don't not see anything that's going to... Reach out and ring that bell today. So, there's a Brady Kachuk jersey or Patrick Kane jersey card. You guys might like that one. We can run a Patrick Kane jersey card. Where once, where twice, we're sold. Sorry if you guys, if this is your first auction, it doesn't normally go like this. Just one of those nights, I guess. Okay, Katie, you want to ring that out? Sold. $20 to Bruce. You're going to have to pay shipping on this one, Bruce. It's going to be not a normal envelope, and I just ate it on it, so <laughs> I'm not paying your shipping on this one. $20 to Bruce. Set and done. Super cool looking set. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just throw uh, throw Gordy Howe autos out there on a night like tonight or, Bo or Belvo. I, uh, I wouldn't even put a Johnny Bauer auto out here, I don't think. Uh, Patrick Kane, jersey card, 40 and 91. 40 and 91 from Trilogy. Patrick Kane, 2018-19. Trilogy, Patrick Kane. <coughs> oh, I got a Boston Bruins lot here. Boston Bruins lot we can try. I think I, saw, well, I think I saw Jay. This is... Uh, Rosie will like Boston Bruins a lot. We can put this one out here. And then we'll go, go with that. And then I've got a Dubé lot, and we'll probably call her a night. We are looking for a dollar. Looking for a dollar on the Patrick Kane. Looking for one dollar. And Bruce says, okay. I think he has a few cards. I won't him. tape the box up, Bruce. If you don't want the box, I could just send the set with it. But it's such a nice box. No, he has so he many cards. probably he's want it. Oh, is it a big box anyway? So, okay. Okay. Rosie's still here, so she'll be after this Boston lot. I don't know if Jay's still with us or not. We'll try it and put it out here. Um, looking for a dollar. Nobody's interested in Patrick Kane jersey cards. Oh, there's Andrea at a dollar. Dollar to Andrea going once. Dollar to Andrea going once on the Patrick Kane. Jersey cart, we are one dollar going once. Katie's busy over there. There's five dollars to happy, five to happy, five to happy. I don't uh, have any more football. I wish I had brought some basketball. You guys didn't like my wrestler for the choice for the evening. Um, there's more Dylan Dubé. Andrea's at six dollars. Six dollars to Andrea. I don't. Uh, we don't have any Calgary Flames fans on here anymore. All the Calgary Flames fans are gone. Is there any Jordan Eberle fans? I know he's not in Edmonton anymore. But any Jordan Eberle fans or Jordan Bingington? I've got a Bingington Ice rookie card. 
Ice Jordan Bington rookie card ice out of seven ninety nine. We are ten dollars to happy. Ten to happy looking for twelve. Ten to happy looking for twelve. Ten dollars going once. Ten dollars going once. Patrick at fifteen. Fifteen to Patrick. Chicago Blackhawks jersey card. Fifteen dollars. Does everybody out there got a Debrincat Young Gun? I've got an extra one sitting here. Well, there's Brady Kachuk. Two card Brady Kachuk lot, maybe. I could do. We are fifteen dollars going once. Then fifteen dollars going once on the Bra on the Patrick Kane jersey card. Well, there's some Dubé Rockets cards. I don't know where I got all these Dylan Dubés there, Steve. I thought you scooped them all from me. Um, we are fifteen dollars going once. Fifteen dollars going twice. Yeah, we didn't look at the schedule. Maybe everybody's all partying, Bruce. I don't know. Twenty people here. <laughs> we're once. We're twice. You might have them, Steve. The ones, uh, the ones a cool one. The ones a prospect, prospect autograph, Dubé. Um, we're once, we're twice, we're sold, sold to Patrick. Fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars to Patrick. There we go. Oh, that Gretzky coin's throwing off my stack. Dylan Dubé autograph from uh, Dylan Dubé from uh, Prominent Prospects Parker's autograph Calgary Flames autograph Dylan Dubé eighteen nineteen and I think I saw Kelowna Rockets Kelowna Rockets uh, card CHL the foil CHL foil seventeen eighteen I think to get the foil you had to have like ten of the base ones to get that. I don't know if that foil shows up there well or not. Um happy starts us at ten bucks. Ten looking for fifteen. Ten looking for fifteen on the Dube. And let's put out we'll put out a rock a flames card just so you guys know he's in the NHL. Dylan Dubay Flames. There we go. Three card. The foil is cool. Yeah, for sure, uh, Michael. I think they're um, they do that with a lot of the the upper deck base and the young guns and stuff like that too. But you have to trade like I can't remember the young guns ones. I think you have to trade like ten in to get one or like a hundred for the gold. Or it's something something incredible. Um, ten dollars, ten dollars on the Dubé lot. Ten dollars going once. Ten dollars going once on the three card Dylan Dubé lot. Three card Dylan Dubé lot. Ten dollars, Cologne Rockets, former Cologne Rocket, Calgary Flame autograph and rookie. Steve uh, is either looking through his stuff that he has it or he knows he's got it. We're ten dollars going once, ten dollars going twice, ten dollars going twice. Got a Bobby Orr cool number card. Oh, there's Steve at twelve. Twelve dollars to Steve. Looking for fifteen. There's fifteen. 15 looking for 20. 15 looking for 20 on the three card Dubé lot. Parker's rookie. It's funny how much bigger cards look in the top loaders. And then it's the same size card. It's just in that case and the angle. Garrett, what's going on, buddy? $20. $20 to Garrett. Happy at 23. 23 looking for 25. 23 looking for 25 on the Dylan Dubé. Um, I'll see if I got a Connor McDavid numbered card here, but we could save it. I'll do this Bobby Orr card. Maybe these Brady Kachuk cards. Uh, $23. $23 going once. I know there's been a lot of people here. Sorry, guys, if my selection is not good for you tonight. I tried. $23 going once. $23 going twice. Uh, if you guys want, send recommendations to Katie at our Facebook Messenger uh, through the store. Try to let us know. Maybe we'll try to track some more stuff down, stuff you'd be interested in. 
we're once, we're twice. Next week, we'll be doing the break on Wednesday. The auction will be Friday. I might do, well, we'll probably have some Series 1 Young Guns on that Friday. Who knows? Maybe La Fournier will even make an appearance. We're once, we're twice. Okay. Sold to Happy. $23. $23 to Happy. Bruce wants a halftime show. I don't know what that is. You want the chicks in there, bud? Is that what you want? You want the booby prizes? $23 to Happy on the Dube. Here's a Bobby Orr. This is the, um, this came out of, what did this even come out of? 1415 Fleer Ultra. It's like an acetate see-through card Bobby Orr. 38 to 299, 38 to 299 Bobby Orr. Having a tough time with the light on there. Um, let's see if I can put this behind it so it shows up a little better. I don't know. Does that help you there? Well, that looks okay there, doesn't it? Uh, I said boobies. <laughs> Not a halftime show without boobies there, Bruce. Um, looking for $1 on the Bobby Orr. Looking for $1, the Bobby Orr. Numbered out of 299 Bobby Orr out of 299 There's Sean at 5 5 looking for 10 There's 10 to Rosie. 10 Mr. D at 25 25 on the Bobby Orr. Numbered out of 299 Bobby Orr. 299 25 dollars 25 looking for 30 25 looking for 30 this is bobby or these uh i can't remember what the name of these cards for but they did these in basketball a few years ago too and they're absolute monsters if you get the right cards like the the jordans and stuff out of them uh we are 25 dollars going once then 25 dollars going once on the Bobby Orr, twenty-five dollars going once. I think this is gonna be it, you guys. You know what? Let's just do it. We'll call this um, Jess Ball. I honestly don't have any basketball handy with me. I don't. Uh, I've got all the boxes put away here, and I can't. I can't run the risk of running Zion's or Barrett's or anything right now, uh, especially the way. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Andrea, I told you about the Bington. We'll run that one. Um, I just can't do that the way she's running right now. Uh, we are $25 then going once. $25 going once. But like I say, you're more than welcome to message the store. We've got like tons and tons of basketball. I've showed some of these guys. I don't know if you watched uh, the first show with all those LeBrons and Zions that we've got. We've got lots of big stuff. Um, just let us know who you're looking for. and We can go from there. Um, I, uh, it's not looking good, Sean. We are once, we are twice. Oops, Katie and I are fighting back and forth on there. There's twice on the Bobby Orr, numbered out of 299. Okay, sold $25, Bobby Orr, sold $25. Bobby Orr, okay. Last card of the night, Jordan Bingington, Ice Rookie Card. Ice Rookie Card, Jordan Bingington, 2014-15 Ice, numbered out of 799. 799, Bobby, or Jordan Bingington, Ice Card. There, that shows up with the white a little better. Looking for $1 on the Jordan Bingington Stanley Cup champion from, uh, what, two years ago? Looking for $1. Look for one dollar start. This is good. We're gonna cut tonight short, you guys. I'm sorry. Just the way it is. We're five dollars or ten dollars. Ten looking for fifteen. Ten looking for fifteen on the Jordan Bingington uh, ice rookie. Sorry, I can't get that to work there. Ten dollars looking for fifteen. There's eleven. There's twelve. Twelve bucks looking for fifteen. Twelve looking for fifteen. Um, uh, <laughs> who knows, buddy? Who knows? Did you see it on our, uh, was it on our eBay, Garrett? I don't know. Uh, don't know if that was on our eBay or did you see it in a showcase when you're around? 15, 15 on the ice rookie car, Jordan Bington. Uh, the acetate, $15 going once, $15 going once. Or, uh, where did you see it, Garrett? Happy's get a pass. Bruce is at 15. 
15 once, 15 twice. Uh, I think you got my cell number. Text me. I'll have a look at it. Good night, Happy. We're once, we're twice. Okay. Nobody else interested. Jordan Bingington, ice rookie at a $7.99, $15. Once, twice, sold. Okay, I'll have a look and see if I got it on there. This is sold and done. Okay, we're cutting her short tonight, guys. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Sorry we didn't have the stuff you needed on here. Um, we'll be back sometime. Thanks. Okay. Good night, everyone. Do you want to put the thing up there? Yeah. Just a reminder, our curbside pickup hours are 12 to 4, Tuesday to Saturday. We do have that five-person maximum in the store, so thanks if you have to wait your turn outside. We're trying to keep visits to a minimum or outside. Um, and also, if you want auctions tonight and need the mailed, we'll get those out to you as well. Thank you. We hope you have a good rest of the weekend and looking forward to a busy, fun Series one filled week next week. So we'll see you then.